Hello, and here we go. This is my first video, and what we're going to show you is my digital workspace. My digital workspace is really not any different than my traditional workspace, or as I call it, my wet studio. What we have right here that I'm painting on at the moment is my working surface. And my working surface at this moment is linen canvas. You can see that here. But I can change and make it basic paper all the way to um, sandy pastel paper down to French watercolor paper and everything in between. And how I paint is affected by the surface that I choose. The next area is for me to select the tools that I'm going to use, and those are right here. My brush, but I have a type tool, I have a magnifying glass, I have a paint bucket, I have an eraser tool, and a whole lot of other tools. These are the colors that I'm presently working with, and as you can see, I'm painting with blue. Well, the colors are from my color wheel, and the color wheel, I just click on what I want, I can change my color and I can change the value and the hue of the color that I'm using right here so that now I'm using that green or I can use that green. I have available to me a mixing palette. I pick a brush down here. I take that red. I want to make it more orange so I'm going to put in some yellow. And now I'm going to take a mixer, mix it up. And that's the color I've made and can now use by taking this tool, saying that's the color I want, and painting right here with that color. And so you see I have options. The other option I have is up here, and that's my color sets. Now in this color set, I have every tube of color that I use in my traditional studio. Any color paint that I want from... Um, paints that everybody knows, yellow ochre, a very famous oil painting color, and popular, I shouldn't say famous, to some of the new colors, quinacridone, which is a new kind of color, and I, the one that I really enjoy using. So that's three different ways that I have of getting colors, either color from a traditional cobalt violet that I know, to picking a violet that I'd rather have over here, or taking a blue that I'd rather have over here, or coming up with my own color in this area. So those are my colors and the way that I use them. Um, I have available to me and can make for myself any kind of little palette that I like using all different kinds of drawing tools. But we'll start with the tools that are available to me. So here are all of our tools or our mediums. I really should call it mediums, not tools. Acrylics, which we all know and love, to artist oils, down to chalk, charcoal, pastel, and all the way down um, to watercolor and some novelty tool, um, novelty mediums. So if I want to use charcoal, one of the nice things about using charcoal is that charcoal doesn't necessarily have to be black as it is in traditional medium. Charcoal could be any color I want it to be. And if I want the surface to be um, a different kind of paper, then I'm using charcoal paper. And there I'm using it that way. Now the last thing that I have once I pick the medium that I want is all this variety. Uh, I can have a sharp charcoal pencil. I could have um, a hard charcoal pencil. So there's all differences. That is an overview of what's available in my workspace. And next week we'll go into how to pick a medium and use it effectively as if I were in the studio. I'll probably start with oil paints because that's what I'm familiar with. But thanks for coming today and thanks and hopefully you've enjoyed this. I have, I know. Okay, see you next week. Bye.